Today we are looking at 2021 Lexus NX300 with F Sport Series 2 package. This vehicle costs 55,100 Canadian dollars or 43,500 US dollars. The 2021 will be the last year of this first generation of the NX, and in 2022 we will see completely new redesigned second generation of Lexus NX. In the meantime, let's see what the 2021 NX has to offer. We'll start with the exterior. First of all, I really like how the front looks. It is very aggressive. You have this massive F-Sport spindle grille in the front, which makes the vehicle stand out a lot. Headlamps come with premium triple beam LEDs, which work both as a low beam and high beam. Below we have headlight washer and the Arrowhead daytime running light. F-Sport version comes with specific LED fog lights. Vehicle has 18-inch F-Sport alloy wheels. It has plastic wheel arches and a plastic trim that runs underneath. The ground clearance is 6.9 inches. To open the gas tank door you simply need to press on it, uh, but the car has to be unlocked. An X300 has a turbocharged engine, that's why it uses only premium fuel. Rear view mirrors are painted black and uh, they are power folding. Mirrors are also after dimming, which will reduce the glare at night, and the vehicle comes with a blind spot monitor. On the top we have the sunroof, aluminum rails, and the shark fin antenna. In the back we have the spoiler, LED tail lamps, including the turn signals and uh, dual chrome exhaust also as you can see there's already the scarf plate on the rear bumper and in case if you don't know an X stands for nimble crossover As you can see, the hood is being supported by two struts. Lexus NX comes with turbo 2-liter engine producing 235 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. This number is adequate, but it's not the best in class and uh, has not changed from the last year. Vehicle gets from 0 to 60 miles per hour in around 7 seconds. The engine is mated to the 6-speed automatic transmission, which is a bit outdated as well. For example, the new Toyota RAV4 already comes with 8-speed automatic transmission. However, as I said before, the next year should bring completely new NX300. 2021 NX300 uses all-wheel drive system, which under normal conditions operates in the front-wheel drive mode and will send up to 50% of available torque to the rear wheels when extra traction is needed. Lexus NX uses McPherson strut front suspension and uh, double wishbone rear suspension. Vehicle comes with smart key system. To unlock the door you simply put your hand inside like this and the vehicle greets us with a small courtesy light. To unlock other doors just put your hand in there as well. To lock the door just press on this indentation. Interior looks great. Uh, there are lots of high quality materials, uh, almost everything is soft touch. Vehicle does feel expensive. On the door we have the silver trim. You have chrome accents on the buttons. 
you have this red insert on the door handle, memory seats, you have a small storage space right here and uh, the cup holder. We have Lexus scarf plate on the seal and vehicle comes with aluminum pedals with rubber inserts. The F Sport comes with Sport Circuit red seats which are made of Nulux material. Uh, Nulux in essence is a synthetic leather which is actually more durable and easier to maintain than the real leather. Uh, real leather is only available with luxury or executive packages. Both front seats are heated and ventilated. They are 8 power adjustable. And uh, the driver's side has lumbar support, but not the passenger. The steering wheel is power tilt and telescopic. This vehicle has F Sport seats, uh, which hold you quite tight in place, and I personally like it. I'm six feet tall, and I'll show you how much room I have left in the lowest position. So we are probably talking about an inch or so, and uh, I'll show you, I'll go all the way up. I'll show you how far this seat can go and as you can see it actually goes quite far so people who are shorter than me will feel very comfortable in the front seat after you have adjusted your seat your steering wheel and your side view mirrors you can save these options for that you have to press the set button and choose one of the three options you hear the beep it means now the car remembers these settings and uh, will use them every time you enter the vehicle. You can have up to three different settings, so up to three different people using the vehicle and uh, they can set their own parameters. On the left we have the following buttons. After high beams, blind spot monitor. From here we can open and close a uh, power back door heated steering wheel button and this one is a locking center differential button uh, this will be useful if you get stuck in mud or deep snow right here we have the odometer trip button and uh, instrument panel brightness vehicle does not come with a head-up display uh, this feature is only available with the F Sport Series 3 package F Sport steering wheel is a uh, thick and uh, wrapped in perforated leather with red stitching you have F Sport badge and also comes with pedal shifters headlamp controls are on the left side right now it's in after mode daytime running lights and low beam right here we have the fog light controls off on on the right we have the windshield wiper controls uh, which are rain sensing uh, when set to after mode on top of the steering wheel we have the volume control uh, radio present change buttons uh, mode button which will switch between different audio sources uh, below we have phone buttons and uh, voice command uh, these buttons on the right operate the multi-information display and I'll quickly show you what you have here, the information section, range, uh, mileage, echo indicator, uh, it has a digital speedometer, tire pressure, on the right we have a compass, radio settings, uh, dynamic cruise control, messages and uh, general settings. 
This button is a full in distance for the uh, radar cruise control and uh, this one is lane tracing assist. To turn on the radar cruise control you have to press this button on this lever and to set you just have to press it down. Uh, it's funny but in my 2016 Scient TC I have exactly the same lever. I'm pretty sure that in the next uh, generation of the Lexus NX uh, this lever will be gone and uh, these buttons will be somewhere on the steering wheel. 2021 F Sport comes with a 10.3 inches display screen. It supports both uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Uh, vehicle comes uh, with 10 speakers. And in this uh, version you have built-in navigation. So if I press this button, map, right here, this will take us to the navigation section. Vehicle comes with uh, automatic dual zone climate control, which has been operated by using these switches and the buttons. I'll quickly show you how it works when I press after. I can see the temperature for both the driver and the passenger and you can also see that on the screen when you change these settings. When I press the dual button, now you can change the temperature for each individual person. Airflow, fan speed, if I set to auto, it will automatically adjust the fan speed and the temperature. Here we have the heated and uh, ventilated seat controls. Uh, three levels of intensity for each. And uh, for both the driver and the passenger. But unfortunately there is no automatic mode. And of course here we have the Lexus clock and the hazard button. Uh, below we have a small storage compartment, audio controls, and a CD player. Yes, uh, the vehicle still has it. This is a mode selector. We have three options, Eco, uh, Normal and Sport. This will change uh, the throttle response in the vehicle. I'll show you Eco, like this, Normal and Sport. Uh, below we have the traction control button on and off and uh, also brake hold button and automatic parking brake. Lexus comes uh, with this touchpad which uh, some people like, some people hate. Uh, I personally find that uh, if you use it long enough you'll get used to it and it's not that complicated. For example, here we have the map, menu and back button. If I press menu, it gives us these options. Then just by sliding my finger like this, it lets you make your choice. For example, you can go to audio. This will take us to our uh, XM radio or, or other different sources, AM, FM, Bluetooth, whatever you like. So there you can go back, uh, again if you press menu again, uh, it'll take you back to the menu. From here you can go to climate options for example. This will show you on the screen your current settings. If you press after, that's what we get. I'll turn it off, go back to the menu. I mean in general you get the idea, this is our main information. Here we can get the weather report, for example. So it's all pretty straightforward. The vehicle does not come with the wireless charger. Uh, this feature is only available with the F Sport Series 3 package. We have two cup holders with rubber inserts, which can be removed for cleaning. This thing here is a wrist rest. Right here we have a small storage compartment and guess what, a small mirror. 
Underneath the armrest we have a decent size storage space. There is a small shelf which can be moved around or removed completely. Also we have two USB slots right here. These ones are used for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Uh, there is a small 3.5 mm audio jack and a 12 volt outlet. Um, the glove box has a decent amount of room and as you can see there is a small LED light inside. Uh, the rear view mirror is auto dimming. Here we have the dome lights which are touch sensitive. And right here we have two switches for the sunroof. So this one will partially open it. And this one will completely open the sunroof. Let's take a look at the rear space. We have a cup holder in each door. We have two speakers in the rear doors. Here we have the armrest with uh, two cup holders. Also we have uh, two air vents for the passengers and uh, 120 volt receptacle. As for the room in the back, uh, obviously the car has plenty. For a six foot guy there is decent headroom. I'll probably have again about an inch left. Plenty of room for my knees and what's cool about these seats is they actually recline Very comfortable. The red door is powered, but there is no kick sensor. Kick sensor can be added as a separate option. Inside the trunk, immediately we see the chrome scarf plates, which look great. Cargo capacity is uh, 501 liters or 17.7 .7 cubic feet. If you fold rear seats, the cargo capacity grows to 54.6 cubic feet. Let's lift the cover and see what's underneath. I have a carpet here with a sport logo. Right here we have a small string which can be used to secure this cover to the roof like that. This gives us a little bit more room to work with. As you can see vehicle comes with a spare which is great. It's not full size. 60 psi is a pressure for this spare and this is the size. Also we have the scissor jack right here with tools. And we have the lug nut key. In the trunk we have two lights, one on each side. Also we have anchors. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a couple of hooks. All this is used for the nets, uh, but unfortunately you have to buy them separately. And there is additional 12 volt outlet. The rear door also comes with the speaker right here. 
to close the power back door you just simply need to press this button you can press this button and uh, besides closing the door this will also lock the vehicle Again, I want to point out the high quality of the materials inside the cabin. It feels really nice to be inside the car. The F-Sport seats hold me quite well in place. I feel very stable. Uh, but for somebody larger, they may not be as comfortable. So you definitely should test drive the vehicle uh, before you buy it. I'm going to engage the sport mode and we have a decent hill in front of us as you can see the vehicle easily gets on top of the hill right now I'm going 80, 90 so acceleration is really good even though the horsepower is not best in class you still won't have any problems overtaking other vehicles or merging on the highway The F-Sport has sport tune suspension and it shows. Uh, the ride is more stable and it handles turns more confidently. But you have to keep in mind that uh, it is a little bit more stiff than uh, regular MX. Uh, the leather wrapped steering wheel feels great. Uh, there is not much play at all and uh, it does match the sporty feel of the suspension. The gas mileage in uh, miles per gallon is uh, 26 uh, city, 33 highway, and uh, 29 combined. Overall, I do enjoy driving this car. It does have this uh, sporty feel to it. And uh, even though it's uh, the last year of this generation, I still think it's a nice car to have. To sum it up, even though there are a few outdated features in the vehicle, in my opinion uh, Lexus NX is still a great compact SUV. It looks amazing, has unique F-Sport features, very high quality interior, generous seating space for both uh, front and rear passengers, lots of cargo space, uh, vehicle has adequate horsepower and all the latest Lexus safety features. I believe it still offers a lot of value for the money. At the same time, I'm very curious to see what the next generation of the Lexus NX300 will bring to the table.